We're going to take a couple minutes today to answer some more questions that we see on social media. One of the big things that we're kind of running into now, we have a lot of people asking like, well, what carriers can I get to outfit my whole family with body armor, right? Or what kind of options do you guys have if I want to get armor for my whole family? And so we're going to take a couple minutes, just kind of answer that real briefly. Uh, and just to kind of jump right into it, uh, in a short answer, the Freeman is a great option for that. The nice thing is that it's very inexpensive, it's cost effective, uh, it still offers you the protection you need. It holds level three rifle plates, so they'll take 308 rounds. Uh, but additionally, it is adjustable from just about mm, to about any size, basically like an XL and down to like an extra small. You can adjust this using the side straps and using the shoulder straps. So you can make it fit just about any member of your family. Um, and so it's a good option for that if you are looking at kind of getting maybe a big carrier for you with all the bells and whistles, the pouches and side plates and the cummerbund, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is a good option to look at if you're thinking about getting armor for the people in your life who aren't going to be like the primary responders, um, but you still want them to be protected, uh, spouse and kids, stuff like that. Uh, it's a good thing to consider. Um, another thing to consider as you guys are looking at this is kind of look at uh, what the most likely use of this armor is. And so when you're thinking about stuff like that, uh, the media will make it seem like every active shooter ever that takes place involves an AR-15 or an AK-47 or something like that, what they call assault rifles. The reality is that most violent crime with firearms in the United States is done using handguns uh, from, and particularly like nine millimeter is by far the most widely used. Uh, you also have like 380, 22 long rifle um, and smaller calibers like that. So when you're looking at stuff like that, it's a little more realistic to kind of look at soft armor options and as, as it relates to family um, they're a lot more likely to run around town wearing like a backpack or something like that or maybe a briefcase or whatever than they are to be running around town wearing a plate carrier and so in that vein we actually have like backpacks and stuff like that uh, this is going to be the phoenix backpack now inside there is a soft armor panel sewn into the pack it's going to be level 3a so it'll stop uh, up to 44 magnum handgun rounds and anything less than that including 9 mil 45 40 cal all the most common rounds that you're going to find um, and the nice thing about a backpack is it's a little more practical um, if you're talking about the members of your family who maybe aren't as tactically minded as you are um, it's very it's a lot easier to get them to be like hey here's a backpack just wear it you know take to school or take it to work whatever as opposed to trying to get them to carry like a full rig and stuff with them all the time um, additionally it's kind of a great way to get people into armor without you know kind of pushing the whole like you have to wear plate carriers and take them with you everywhere you go kind of mindset and stuff like that it's a good way to be prepared um, but also be kind of low-key which is kind of what we were looking for so that's something to consider just keep in mind as you do this guys the armor that you have is always better than the armor that you don't have so it's best to have it and not need it than need to not have it. What I mean by that is kind of like I mentioned earlier, I would rather you get a backpack for somebody who's not tactical that would maybe use it a lot more often than you buy them like some outrageous, awesome plate carrier setup that they're gonna look at and be like, I don't need this, right? I'm not gonna wear that, I'm not gonna use it. Um, so it's a lot better to think in that regard. Uh, otherwise guys, Hopefully that answered your questions and didn't create too many more. Uh, if you guys do have questions about this video, uh, just drop them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Um, if you want a more direct answer, you can hit us up on Instagram, Facebook. You can also email or call the customer support line that's up on the website uh, and we can get your questions answered that way. Otherwise, guys, we hope that this isn't needed, um, but on the off chance that it is, we want you guys to stay safe and be careful out there.